Hello everyone, welcome you all. Uh, this is Pawan. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, decision table testing technique. So the decision table is also called as a cause effect table. Uh, decision table is also called as a cause effect table. So this test technique is uh, appropriate for functionalities which has a logical relationship between inputs. Like uh, if you have multiple conditions like is so and so and if sub month condition and do something else. So if you have number of conditions and then we can go and apply this uh, technique. So in decision table technique, we deal with the combinations of input. We need to have multiple combinations of inputs. So to identify the test cases with the decision table, we consider conditions and actions. So these conditions and actions will play very important role in uh, decision table. Conditions and corresponding actions. We take conditions as inputs and actions as outputs. So conditions we will take as an inputs and actions will be taken as an outputs. Now let us see a few examples on decision table. Now example one. So in this example, uh, I'm taking as a transferring money online to an account, which is already added and approved. So there is an account should be there and which is already approved. So I'm just uh, doing the transferring of money. So for this transaction, here I have few conditions. So what are the conditions we have if you want to transfer money? First condition is you need to uh, account already should be approved. This is the first condition. And OTP, one time password should be matched. And then sufficient money in the account. So these three are conditions. If you have these conditions and then we can transfer the money. So if you want to transfer the money, we should have these conditions. Account should be approved. OTP should be matched, sufficient money in the account. So these are all conditions. Now what are the actions? So actions are we can just transfer money or show a message as a insufficient amount and block the transaction in case of suspicious transaction. So based on the condition, corresponding action will be executed. So for example here, account is already approved and one time password is matched and then sufficient uh, money is available in account so then we can transfer the money if all three conditions are matched then we can transfer the money so for example account is approved okay but uh, it doesn't have sufficient money in the account so then it should throw the and it should ex execute this action show a message as insufficient amount for example account is approved but the OTP is not matched so in that case, so we need to block the transaction in case of suspicious transaction. So based on the conditions, we need to perform certain action. Now let us see how we can uh, uh, prepare the decision table. So as I said, the decision table contains multiple conditions and corresponding actions. So here we have a column I put as conditions and actions. And the second column is conditions, actions, a description. And, uh, I can write number of test cases are possible here. Now, if you observe in the decision table, I have written first condition one, two, three. The first condition is account already approved, OTP matched, sufficient money in the account. So these are all conditions. Now I have written actions, transfer money, show a message and insufficient amount, block the transaction in case suspicious transaction. So these are all the actions I performed. Now let us write test case one. So first column is representing test case one. So suppose here account already is approved is true and OTP is also matched and sufficient money is there in the account. So all are satisfied, all are true. Then what we need to do? We need to execute action one. So this is executed. This is the first test case. Now come to the second test case. So in the second test case, let us say account is already approved is true. OTP is also matched is true, but uh, sufficient money in the account is false because we don't have sufficient amount. Now what action could be executed now? We need to execute action 2. So here execute action 2. Show a message as insufficient amount. Now let us say third test case, third combination. So account is already approved is true, but OTP is not matched, but still we have sufficient money. OTP is not matched. So what should we do action? So we need to block the transaction in case of suspicious transaction. OTP is not matched so that it will be considered as a suspicious transaction. So we need to execute here uh, action 3. Now let's go to the test case 4. So in the test case 4, account approved is true, OTP is not matched, 
there is no sufficient money in the account in the both cases again we need to execute action 3 and the last test case account is already approved false so if account itself is not not approved that means there is no uh, cause of uh, there is no sense of OTP and sufficient money right so we don't need to verify that so these are not applicable or not possible so if account approved account is uh, approved is false then obviously we don't need to execute any action okay so this is a, a decision table which is a best example for a decision table and based on this we can write uh, five different test cases now let's see one more example so take another example like login page validation so in this login page validation allow user to log in only when both user and user ID and password are entered correct so i have a login screen so i need to enter a valid username and valid password if both are valid and then i need to go to home page so in all other cases i need to get an error so for this particular scenario let us see how we can prepare the decision table so what are the conditions here that we need to list it out here. The first condition will be enter valid username and also we need to enter valid password. So these are all conditions. Suppose what are the actions should be performed. So if both are correct then you should display the uh, home page. Okay so if one of them is not valid then we should uh, display the error message in your page or pass user ID or password is wrong. So based on this add conditions and actions, we'll prepare a decision table. Now let's see how it will be. So here I have written two conditions, condition one and two, and there are two actions, action one and action two. So here the first condition is enter valid user ID, valid password, and action one is go to home page or it can show you error message. Now let us see a first test case. So test case one, if I enter user ID is valid, true, and valid password, then what should action we need to perform? We need to go to home page. So here we said action one should be executed. So in test case two, for example, user ID is true, but uh, password is not valid, it is false. And then we need to execute the action two. So we need to execute the action two. Now in the test case three, uh, we need to, uh, user ID is false, that is invalid and password is valid, but we need to execute the action two again. So in this case also, we need to execute error message, invalid user credentials. In the last test case, uh, even both user ID and also password, both are invalid. And then we need to execute again action 2. So with this particular scenario, we can create uh, four different test cases with the different combinations of conditions and actions. So this is all about uh, decision table uh, testing technique. So thanks for watching this video. So please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this. Thank you all.